Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. All right. Got to put my beautiful face back in here. So, um, what we're doing here is I'm going to come up with a bot. And it is going to be a medic. And I'm going to go to a test map for now. Oh, and this one right here is the radio. So you got the radio here. You can actually um, open up the menu. You can hit play music and it'll just start playing music. And you can hit it with the number three key or and it's got attenuation so it doesn't go all the way across the freaking map. If you're in range out or you know, whenever you can actually open up your menu okay this is a cool song but let's hit the next song it'll play the next one all right let's skip that one let's go to the next one I'll try the next song let's try this one and let's pause it um, and let's continue it could exit the menu open it back up you can actually use all these features. I haven't come up with a stop yet. I probably ought to do like uh, stop playing music or something of that nature. So you can use the three key or you can just click on exit menu. So that's that. Um, so what we're going to do is create a system for causing pain, which we should already have. Go into my gadgets folder and I do have one. It's a pain pad. So what I'll do is I will I don't know, but somewhere in the map. Um, all the music that I use comes from uh, Technoax. Should be still linked in the, in the video description there. If not, the the video that I did for sure, I know that um, where I made the radio. Um, I did make improvements to the radio, and with the improvements to the radio was to actually use the. Um, so you open up the menu and just hit play music. Instead of worrying about selecting each track, you can you can set it to where you can select each track. That's not a problem. Sorry, changing screens here on. Think I'm a jiggy. But you can also do it by setting up your playlist. And the playlist was still in this temporary folder. What I did was I, for each individual song you want to do. Okay, cool. Is you you create a um, media file media source. And then when you open up the file media source, you just click on the dots here and find the location where the actual file is inside your game folder. I put mine inside of a folder called movies. It doesn't actually show up in, it does show up in here, but it doesn't show the files. So when you're creating them, you have to create them like that and you can call them whatever you want in there. And of course, you know, I showed how to set up that and the, the radio, but in the widget, um, made some changes to the the way the widget was from the video to add play where it just starts playing music and you got next previous pause play and exit and all it is is whenever you you do your initial call to start playing music you can do it like this on click start or to start playing music just get a reference to your media player and in that video I showed how to make the media player um, but you can actually drag out from your media player and get your your list your playlist your playlist all you have to do is just right click go to media and create a playlist and then when you go into your playlist you just click on the plus it adds a track you go in and you find a location based on the ones you see here and there you go playlist is nice and easy so on start whenever you click the start button you open your your playlist and you start playing index zero if you want to refer to a single track that you know is in slot number five, you can tell it go to five. But I just told just to start playing from index zero, and then the next button is well next, and the previous is well previous pause play. I mean it's very very simplistic. Then once you drag off from your media player, and if you don't know what to put in there, you can come down to media media player, scroll down. You can, look at all the stuff that's in here but you can also come down here too 
these the blue F key ones are are actual like functions that will do something so like open URL open source if you just want to play a song you can do open source link it in there and actually pick the one that you've already got a file media source for but doing it from the playlist and actually calling the playlist on the first one you can then use the next and previous I, I didn't know how to do it and I didn't realize it was gonna be that simple I just started screwing around with it and yeah that's what happened so I got the exit button set to um, change your game mode back to game only get rid of the mouse cursor and remove the widget but I've also got it set on the three key which runs off an event tick and I, I should clear that if you go into the function for clear widget it does the same thing so. but that was just a little update we did on that but I want to go into my characters folder and blueprints I got a stripper hiding in there and we'll make a new folder just called bots and I'm just gonna take this and copy my player base copy it into the bots folder and then I'm gonna rename that to bot um, we'll just call this one our med bot with it renamed now I'll go into it and you got all this cool stuff in here hey nice right lots of stuff in here delete don't need it follow camera don't need it camera boom don't need it tray start don't need it FPS camera don't need it alright so let's go to our viewport and we want to change our mesh we don't want the schoolgirl being our medic well maybe you do but you know um, for now there was actually one that was in there could also use a the police officer um, a SWAT officer FBI character um, I don't know there's so many that I can choose from um, there was actually one that was a, a medic or whatever from the sci-fi pack for now I'm just going to use it Let's see if I can find it I don't remember what the name was um, that's one of the characters yeah, alien male android augmented Oh, what the hell was the name of the guy? I mean, I could use the hologram female, but there was actually a medic, medical male. This is one from the uh, sci fi pack, so I'm just going to use it for now. Just compile and save. And it doesn't really do anything at all for right now. We can actually drag them into here into the map and rotate them around. All he's going to do is stand there and idle. And we're going to need to make sure that we have a nav mesh bounds in the map. So I'm going to drop that in there, zero it out, and just scale it to fit our area. So it's 10. So we'll do 10 this way. So even if we hit play now, home cheese ain't gonna do anything. He's just gonna sit there and do the idle animation. So we're gonna need our player character and we're gonna need that bot. And I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much every time I come in here, I change the mesh. <laughs> you know, I do something different each time. I've already done the robot. Um, oh, whatever. Let's um. whatever let's be him so what we're gonna need is I still need to come in here and clean up all my my stuff I've been messy as you can see I haven't cleaned up my blueprint you can kind of ignore the line tray stuff that's just for 
or checking things. It's not actually set to do any shooting or combat or anything like that. And that's just the jukebox. So, and just call that my music menu, just so I can get it out of the way. And let's get started. So we know we got health, and um, let's cherish it. It's animations, dancing. There we go. So we already have damage system set up in here. So event any damage, and we're doing all this. Set is dead. So we've got all that. I just haven't added in the death animation yet. Um, not critical right now, but I, I, it would take like three minutes to add it in. But we at least have a is dead state. We needed that. And we can also, if we wanted to, somewhere in here, or I mean, if I tried to do another event, any damage, it's just going to go back to this one. So, you know, not a big deal. I could just put a sequence node in here and run it off of that. Um, short term, I could always just set up another system. Um, to test out the system, we can actually run a new variable called um, is wounded. And let's compile that. And on this system right here, let's actually run a sequence node here. It's running this, this whole check system. But by the time it gets to, to here, it's going into branch nodes and asking questions. So we need to, to break it and actually put a sequence in before there. And let's move you down, make room for this. So in our sequence, whenever we're running a sequence, it just says, keep doing this. But when you get to here, also start doing this. So I'll just come down from here and put a branch node in. And what we're going to do to be able to find out if we're wounded or not is we need to go ahead and get a reference to our health. And that's in my player stats. Is wounded. Let's go ahead and put that in the right spot. Player stats. So we're going to need to do a set node. And we need to get our health. And when we're getting our health here, I mean, I could have used this one right here, but I'm not. I'm just going to run a separate one just because. And I want to do float. We want to see if our health is less than... We don't want our bot coming out there if we stub our toe and do five damage. We want it to do, if we're below, we'll say 80 damage. So if our health is below 80, then set wounded to true. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to go ahead and put it here on the faults that um, if we're not less than 80, we're not wounded. So if we get healed, it's going to take that status away from us. Um, we'll also need to do the same thing in the, the bot itself because we want him to automatically find us. And if we go to event tick not the way I really want to do this but I'll come up with 10 different ways of doing it and then I'll come back later and I'll I'll do it differently so I can try to get rid of the event ticks whenever possible um, but we're just gonna cast to player underscore base our actual character I'd like to use get player pawn, but we're going to stick with get player character for right now. Get it working, and then we'll fine tune it and worry about the replication and stuff if necessary. I don't think we really need it. It just needs to, to know that, hey, I'm wounded and I need help. So I'm going to get um, is wounded. And of course, run a branch. And then at this point, I'm actually going to create a custom event. 
and tack it onto there. I don't have to, but got on because custom events are cool. Um, go heal. So the whole process here is we're going to find out if the player's wounded. If they are, we're going to go and heal them. So what we're going to have to do is we need to AI move to um, let's see here. Actually, no. Let's actually let's actually forget that nonsense because we need to get the referred to character and we'll go from here to target actor so that's who we're gonna go to if the player is wounded we're gonna go there and just for the sake of it get a reference to self so we know that this bot is the one that's gonna go respond and there we go get to the acceptable radius of five so I'm sure I'm forgetting something but let's actually go in here and hit the pain threshold and the medic runs over to us okay so um, let's go ahead and we're in our med bot damn we don't need any of these variables in here So what we want to do here is create a variable in the bot itself, um, home location, and I'm going to set that to be a transform, compile and save. So from event begin play, what we want to do is at, as soon as the map loads up and we start playing, we need to get a reference to our mesh and we need to get world transform and we'll just drag off from here and set home location to what we get from that value so the home location we want the, the bot to actually go out heal us and then carry his ass back on home because we don't need him to keep following us so we know that it works he'll come find us and then we need to come up with a trigger now for boom okay and set health back up to um, that so let's get health we're gonna have to set health so we have to decide we want to get a full heal um, I'm going to leave this one here for now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here and we're going to make it set our health to 100. So this is just a, a heal. We can run something else off of is dead, but right now we're worrying about healing. He's just going to come over and heal us back to 100. So we come over here and uh oh, we're well shit. Why didn't it? Why did it not damage me? Apply damage. It's doing 50 damage. Why did my pain pad not do damage? Short term, let's actually disable our bot. Because I don't want him chasing me all around right now while I'm trying to find out. Is it there we go it's there um, so what was happening was I think he's actually instantly healing us and doesn't have to walk to us so as soon as I walk over the thing it damages me and heals me so we don't want that to happen um, so we need to come up with a trigger for whenever he actually gets to us how the hell do we do that so for right now, I'm going to break that. We don't want him to actually heal us yet. So actually on success, let's try it off of on success. 
because we want them to actually move to us. I was doing off the top link right there. So we want them to actually get to the location. So he shouldn't come to us right now. We should get hurt and he should chase us, get to us, and then he should set our health. So it didn't auto heal at least. Um, on success, set health to 100. Um, hmm. Acceptable radius, let's try 10. So as long as he gets within 10 of us, he heals us. Come on, chase me. You gotta catch me. Alright, so he got there and it didn't do Shiite. So let's troubleshoot. Let's see here. Drag him from this at uh let's see print text we just want to say hello we'll see something in the upper right hand corner i make a lot of this shit up as i go along i've done this once before so there and it did not say hello so why did it not say hello it's going to the pawn and it's not there So, what are the problem with you? He's going to the right location, he's getting there, and it's not doing it on success. From here, this is, he's actually moving too, and that's not what we want. So, as soon as we get wounded, you see he's moving to me. So that's not what we want to do. So we wanted it on success to do that. And that are not working. He'll come to us. And it's not getting through the success. Try it on fail as well. So it shouldn't do anything. It's going to cycle. I, I don't know why it does it, but whenever you're, you're doing this, whatever they're actually tracking, I don't know if it's because it's on an event tick that it's being told to move. It's just spamming the whole thing saying, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. So on fail, it shouldn't be a thing on success that's what we want but it's not picking up that it's succeeded so um, acceptable radius is 10 let's open that up to 50 we want it to be able to say okay I'm here there we go so we don't need the pain pad pain pad was fine so now we've gotten to the player and we can actually delete that. We can heal us. And I'd want to put like a sound effect in there. Like, you know, say, hey, you've just been healed. Don't really need my health reference right now. Um, so it's going to heal us. And then we need to go ahead and do another AI move to. So I can just drag off from here. AI move to pull that in. And we need to get a reference to our home location. And break that. Break the transform. Because we only really need the location. I did it as a transform in case I decided I want to get a, um, a rotation as well. Um, and might might still do that but so now he's gonna track us come over to us heal us and then he should go away go away go away stop following me you son of a bitch so look ahead and get a reference to self 
I can say, you get the hell away from me. So now, we'll come over here, we get wounded. Why the hell is my... Damn, why are you back on there again? Put the shit in the wrong damn spot one more time again. Dumb, dumb. So, okay, I'm wounded. He's going to come over, heal me, and then he should fuck off. Go away. Get the hell away from me, you son of a bitch. Okay, so we need to cast to our player and set is wounded to false. Because he's still trying to come to us because it's still showing that we're wounded. So now, he should no longer be attracted to us. We'll do the same basic system for once we're dead. And, okay, we are wounded. He's got to catch us. Once he gets to us, he heals us. And he goes back home. That's what we wanted. So, um... I said if you had other obstacles in the way or you know if you came in here and went to polygon city to meshes vehicles and let's go ahead and put an ambulance in his way because that's where he's coming from is from the ambulance so let's push that over here and kind of block him a little bit make him actually work for it so now I go in here, I get wounded. He's got to seek his way around the, uh, the thing. He heals us and then tries to find his way back and he gets home. So again, now we're wounded. He'll come find us. The ambulance is kind of screwing him up a little bit. So I guess you'd really want to go ahead and, and not give him too much of an obstacle, but he can find his way to you in case there is a problem. So let's actually just go ahead and just put them over here. Let's move the ambulance over to here. And our medical bot is just going to be standing here next to the ambulance waiting for an emergency to come up. And do to do to do. Oh crap, we're wounded. He'll heal us and he'll go back home. We get wounded again, he'll come find us, and heal us, and go back home. Um, so that's cool. That works. So, I guess we would have to do basically the same thing for the wounded. And we're going to ask, is wounded? And we could pull from the faults here and run the is dead. So let's try it from there. Is um, let's actually run the branch there. And from our player, ask a we is dead. It's the same basic principle. But instead of setting his wounded to defaults and just setting our health to 100, you could tell him to come over and set your health to 10 and set is dead defaults. So your character just gets up and goes. Um, for right now, I'm going to come back to the medical bot and I don't have the animations in here for death. So um, well, I'll just come back to it and add the animations later. So then at that point, we if we are dead, we will AI move to same thing we did before. And we get a reference to our player as the target actor. Pawn, we need a reference to self. And we need him to 
come to us and do basically the same thing. Let's go ahead and just set our health to 100. So we're just going to have him revive us, get us back to full health, and then he's going to go away. So what we had to do was set our radius to 50. Because he wasn't just getting close enough, that's why it wasn't working before. So, yeah. And we can actually grab the variable from above. AI move 2. And we'll grab that location, drag it in here. And again, get a reference to self. So now he's going to go back to his little happy home. And at this point, we need to make sure that we set our player is not dead anymore. If it doesn't work. Um, I'm going to check first and see. I'm not sure if my player health check is actually set correctly. So I'm going to run over here and I'm dead. Alright, so you need to fuck off again. Oh, shit. Setting it to 100 would be nice. He came over and set me to zero and he actually freaking killed my ass. All right, dum dum, get it right. Okay, he healed me. I'm dead. He healed me back to to full. Okay, I'm full. So yeah, we're gonna have to do um, set his dead defaults so it stops trying to chase us. Just checking. I wasn't sure if my health check system in the player was set up correctly to handle death. So wounded and we're dead. Bang. We're full health and we're back to doing our thing. I need to at some point go ahead and, and put my death stuff in here. So that's our bot. It um if we get wounded, he'll come find us, he'll heal us, and then go back to his home location. So let's actually take this and save it. And I'm going to apply this into a larger map, just to kind of let you get a feel of how it looks. A larger map is going to take them longer to get to you. So, bum 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 bum, come on through the map. Now, what I would do is later on, I plan on adding a, a cell phone system to where the player can actually grab his cell phone and call a medic because his health is you know perhaps then his health is now below 80 and you need a medic so you want your medic to come heal you so let's actually put our medic and our ambulance somewhere way down here um, don't really have a home for him just yet and unfortunately, I don't have nav mesh bounds in here either. Lovely. Um, well, it's going to work. You know, it will work. Short term, I'm just going to do a smaller nav mesh bounds. One that I'm going to need to do anyway. So I'll just grab that. Grab a nav mesh bounds. And I'm going to put it on this sidewalk. And I'm just going to make it freaking huge. Yeah, I know it's not on the sidewalk. But I could make it on the sidewalk. Because I only want my, my people, my bots, walking on the sidewalk. So, I just want to split that up and... Just size it up for this one. I'm not going to sit here and do all of them right now. I will at some point come back and do it. Uh, I need to make it a little bit shorter. Because I'll actually make another one just for the corner back there. You know, that is good enough. So I just want my 
my bots to, to be able to walk here on the sidewalks only and inside stores. So I'll actually go ahead and throw a nav mesh bound inside here to encompass this property and um, a quick sidewalk to go there as well. Or I could just do it right here in the, instead of wasting time. So we'll go to our assets, our gadgets. We'll get our pain pad. I'm going to shove it right here. He won't be able to get to me because, well, he can't get here because the nav mesh bound won't let him. He's not inside the nav mesh bound. And I'm just going to go down here. And yes, I have a med kit. So having the med kits in a game, you'll be able to heal yourself. But the whole point is to show how this medic bot works. Bots, put a medic bot in here. Doesn't matter which way he's facing, because I'm just gonna delete him here in a few minutes until I get done making everything, figure out where in town I want my hospital to be, and then yeah, go from there. So now I'll injure myself with the pain pad, and I'll just stand in this, and he'll come to us. Okay, we're on the map, and. I'm going to injure myself. He won't be able to get to me because I'm not in the nav mesh bound. So now that I'm in the nav mesh bound, he should be able to... Um, yeah, because he's not in the nav mesh bounds when I got injured, it didn't trigger. So yeah, I come up with a better system of actually doing that. So we'll actually injure ourselves in the nav mesh bounds. So we go to the sidewalk and then we are injured. Why aren't you moving? Oh, because I didn't verify that my nav mesh bounds is actually working and it appears it's not because it's too high. If you get peaky, you can verify if your damage mesh balance is working or not, and mine is not. So let's drag it down. Now we see the big green line. He can walk there. So I'm going to hit P again, and just to check with it outside of the nav mesh bounds, we're going to put it here. Okay, now that I got my head out of my tail, we're at full health, so no problem. You can go over the, the pain pad. He can't get to me because I'm not in the nav mesh bounds. But now that I'm in it, he should be able to, to know that I'm here. And, yep, I can see him running from all the way across town. The V key. So he'll run up here to us and heal us. And then he will go home. Now you see, I'm dead. He's like, I, I can't get to you because he's not inside. I'm not in the, the nav mesh. As soon as I walk to the nav mesh, boom, I'm back to full healed again. And he will go all the way back to his home. And that is that. All right. That is our medic bot. He will come to you when you're wounded or come to you when you're dead. I will take out the wounded portion and make that an on-call where you pull up your cell phone and like you, like my music player is right here. Now, even though I'm not at an area where I can hear music, if I come over here to like say the oh, Beefalo's Big Burger, even got my rotating sign up front. And, there you go. Get the radio down here. So, now while you're in an area where the music is, you can actually do this. What I may do also is... Excuse me. Pause. Um, pause the music, at least. Uh, what I may do is actually add, whenever you start to play music, instead of it being radio-based, um, it's like you're playing your MP3 player and it puts a set of headphones on your head. 
I don't know. I'll, I may do that here in a few minutes. But you see, I pause the music and I can resume playing the music. Exit the menu. Three to bring it back up, or three to close it. Let's get up out of the chair. And the music is playing. It's playing in this store here. And if I actually walk down the street, I'm using the same blueprint for right now for that radio and for the radio down here at the pool party. So if I walk all the way down here, well, that one is currently still playing. Um, the Battle Cat song is playing. So we'll see how it sounds when we get down here to the pool party. So it's the same blueprint. If you want to do a different playlist or a different thing, see? So that's the same radio station that's playing essentially on both radios. So you want to keep listening to those same tunes. Here you go. All right. That or that. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you have any questions about it, check me out on Discord, and I'll help fill you in a little bit. So I'm, I'm making all these individual features and showing how to do them, but these are features that are going to be in one form or another incorporated into one of my main projects, which is kind of this. So thank you for watching, and we will see you around as soon as I turn off this music. And I have one more thing to do. Um, while the music's playing, I can do this. <laughs> It's a very stupid dance. Okay. But we can hit three. Pause the music. Hit three to close that. Yes, we can still fly. Um, I haven't taken that out yet. But we can also still do this. Just had to. I want to find a little bit shorter clip or make a shorter audio clip and change the money and, and everything else to, to play shorter. So it's this is set, it takes 24 seconds now. So you need to be committed to it because you can't do anything until it's done. You can't interrupt it. So, all right, I just had to share that. All right guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you.